In last video, we went through some data cleaning techniques. In this video, we will be looking at some feature engineering and dimensionality reduction techniques. At this stage, my data frame looks something like this. Now I'm going to copy the data frame into a new data frame. Let's call it DF5. And to do a deep copy, you can use copy function on a data frame. And I'm going to create now price per square feet column. Here I have total square feet, okay, and the total price. We all know that in real estate market, the price per square feet is very important. And this feature will help us uh, do some outlier cleaning uh, in the later stage, okay. So I am doing some feature engineering here and creating a new feature, which can be helpful for outlier detection and removal in the later stage. So DF5, let's call this new column price per square feet, okay? And this column is nothing but a division of two columns, okay? So DF5 price, and this price you are dividing it with your square foot area. Now our price is in lakh rupees, okay? So one lakh is Okay, so this is how it looks like. Okay, so one and then four, five zeros actually. And then df dot head. Excellent. So now I have price per square feet uh, column here. Okay, so let's keep this column. We'll look into this column later. But meanwhile, we'll now explore uh, location column okay I have these locations I want to check how many locations are there and how many rows are available in my data set per location location is a categorical feature here because it's just a category it's a text data okay and if you have too many locations uh, it can create a problem so let's let's first check how many locations I have in total so if I do df5.location.unique, it will show me the unique number of location, okay? And if I do the count, you will find that I have 1300 locations, which is a big number. Usually to handle the text data, we convert it into dummy columns using one hot encoding. And if we keep all the locations, what's gonna happen is we will have around 1300 columns in our data frame which is just too much you know it's like too many feature uh, this is called a uh, dimensionality curse or you know this is a high dimensionality problem and there are techniques available to reduce the dimensions one of the very effective techniques is to come up with this other category. Other category means when you have 1304 location, you will find that there will be many locations which will have only one or two data points, okay? So how do you find that? So let's do something to figure out how many data points are available per location. And before I do that, I want to or stripped any extra spaces from the location so that you know my data is clean and you can do that by using this lambda function okay so this will just remove if there is leading space or if there is space at the end of the location okay now i will create a location stats variable which will give me the statistics on location and i will say df5 dot location or rather let's say group by so i want to group by my data frame by using location and whatever i get as a result on that give me a location column on which i will perform aggregation function which will give me the count per location okay i want to print it Okay, you can see that this one Giri Nagar location has only one data row. Okay, first phase JP Nagar has let's say 25 rows. Okay, so this is good, but I want to sort these guys by 
uh, number of data points okay and to do that you can call sort values function where you want ascending to be false so now you can see that the white field location has maximum number of rows in my csv file 535 data points okay and you see many location which has only one data point so we can come up with some threshold and say that any location which has less than let's say 10 data points is called other location okay so let's just do that so what i will do is i want to know how many locations have less than 10 data points okay and since location stats is a series you can apply this kind of condition and it will tell you uh, that there are 1052 locations out of 1293 which has less than 10 data points so this is pretty good now i can use this to qualify a location as other location i'm just going to call that this and okay let's prepare this and let me see which locations have these less than 10 data points so all these locations you see so i can put all of these locations into a general category called the other and before i do that i will just print total number of unique location in my data frame so my df5 here you can see that this i'm still at df5 it has 1293 locations as unique locations and now i'm going to apply a transformation into uh, this data frame and call it df5.location is equal to df5.location.apply again i am going to apply some lambda function here and i will say that this location is other if x is in location stats location stats less than 10 else whatever is the value you keep it. after this transformation is done what will happen is all these locations will be converted to other and then when you print a unique location value you will find that now i have only 242 locations okay this is pretty good because when i later on convert this into one hot encoding uh, i will only have 242 columns let me just print um, my, some of the values from data frame and you can see that see this particular location is now converted to other all right so that's all i had for this video in the next video we are going to look at outlier detection and outlier removal